Dan Breyer, our General Manager of Beef and Lamb Genetics, is going to round up the evening by recognising individuals who have dedicated much of their lives to this industry. These valued members of our sheep genetics community have contributed so much to our industry, both independently and part, as part of our Beef and Lamb Genetics team. Dan wasn't sure if he was going to be able to make it live tonight, so we've actually pre-recorded this section to make sure that we were able to deliver it as it is a very important part of our program. So we're going to play uh, his video now. Well, one of the things we wanted to do while we were all together in Napier was acknowledge and celebrate some of the people who have made our industry the success that it is. Obviously, we didn't get as far as the dinner on uh, in Napier, but we still like to take that opportunity, recognise those people and thank them for their contribution. First, Cheryl Ann Newman. Cheryl Ann has been involved in SIL since its inception in 1998, where she has been the engineer of SIL's genetic engine for almost two decades. The New Zealand sheep industry has benefited hugely from what is considered the world's leading sheep genetic evaluation system, and Cheryl Ann's dedication to the space has been instrumental in SIL's success. While many scientists work within their individual fields, she has developed knowledge across all facets of the evaluation so that new trait measurements could be entered and included into analyses without affecting existing results. Her work on enhancements to the SIL system has increased the number of traits analysed, improved the accuracy of the evaluation, and introduced auditing tools designed to lift the data quality. She has been recognised internationally nationally for her work with SIL, receiving the Sir Arthur Ward Award in 2017, presented by the New Zealand Society of Animal Production. She is only the second woman to receive that award in its 40 year history. Neville Amys. Neville has been with the Ag Research team for over 40 years and is currently the head of the Ruakura based Ramguard Testing Service. He is involved in the Methane BV program, coordinating bookings and the logistics of getting Ag Research's pack trailer around the country to ensure breeders can have their methane mission emissions measured on farm. Neville has been involved with the SIL system for a number of years, developing the day-to-day -day operations required to keep SIL running smoothly. During that time, he has worked in the animal breeding and research area, collecting and analysing animal data for genetic improvement. He has also worked as a database manager for the last 20 years and has been involved in implementing and testing of new developments into SIL. John McEwen. John has been at the forefront of some of New Zealand's most significant genetic-based productivity gains in farm livestock in recent decades. His career in agriculture began in 1978 when he took up a temporary position at Woodlands Research Institute as a technician and later as a scientist. In 1985, he spent a year working in Ireland before returning to work at Invermay. He has been involved with the establishment of both SIL and the Central Progeny Test. Uh, his work has included looking at how to improve the rate of genetic progress on lean and meaty sheep using the CT scanner with Neville Jobson and calculating breeding values. John has helped to develop the Worm Feck breeding service, the Loinmax, Myomax, Inverdale and Microphthalmia gene tests, and building genotyping platforms for research and commercial application. More recently, he has worked closely with the Green, Pastoral Greenhouse Gas Research Consortium to help reduce methane emissions from our livestock. Claire Kelly. Claire is the General Manager of the New Zealand Animal Breeding Trust, founded by Massey University in AgriSearch. She has been involved in animal breeding and recording since the inception of the National Flock Recording Scheme in 1967, with previous roles as, the, as a Specialist Farm Advisory Officer with the Department of Agriculture at Rokura, later absorbed into the Farm Advisory Division in Hamilton, and Chair of the Sheep Plan Technical Group, working alongside industry icons such as Al Ray, Neil Clark and Clive Dalton. She has been recognised at the Beef and Lamb New Zealand Sheep Industry Awards. In 2013, Claire was presented with an award for the individual or business making a significant contribution to the New Zealand sheep industry. In addition to her work with the sheep performance recording industry, Claire owns AgriTour Associates, a company which showcases New Zealand agriculture by sharing our farming practices, technology and research to international clients who travel here. This work has included a stretch as the president of the Latin American New Zealand Business Council, during which time she travelled with the Prime Minister John Key on his 2013 trade mission to Latin America. Gordon Levitt. The Kikitangio dispersal sale in February of this year marks more than 70 years contribution to the New Zealand sheep industry. Gordon has been flock recording since 1951, initially using a card index system he developed 
until the introduction of the country's national flock recording scheme in 1967. He has been recognised nationally and internationally for breeding sheep that are resistant to parasites and other ailments that plague farmers. He has dedicated 34 years of breeding for worm resistance to the Kikatango Romney stud, including initiating the formation of worm fed gold with like-minded breeders. Other notable achievements include a citation from the Royal Society for Services to Agriculture, an Innovation Award from Beef and Lamb New Zealand, a Balanced Farm Environment Award, and a New Zealander of the Year Award. He has for 23 years been on the New Zealand Sheep Breeders Association Council with two years as president and as a life member. Gordon has sourced, multiplied and sold the Scotch thistle gal fly for biological control, donating half of the proceeds of that to the Red Cross. And he was the first breeder in the country to pay for embryo transfer in sheep in the 1970s, taking eggs from his top 10 producing ewes and transplanting them into the rest of the flock. Gordon's three daughters and their partners will continue to own and work the farm and Gordon and Trish will live on in the homestead first built by his grandfather. And lastly, we'd like to acknowledge the passing of Holmes Warren earlier this year. Holmes is an instrumental figure in the sheep industry and fondly referred to as the father of the modern Romney. Holmes, along with his son Mike, operated the Turonga Nui Romney stud in the southern Wairarapa, one of New Zealand's oldest and largest sheep studs. The Warren family have been among this country's innovative in sheep breeding, and Holmes is often referred to as one of the founders of North Island Romney a genetic package that has had a big impact on the productivity of this country's ewe flock. Holmes was one of the founding members of the Wairarapa Romney Improvement Group alongside Bill Hume and John Daniel. Holmes's service to the sheep industry were recognised with an MBE in 1992 and a New Zealand Sheep Industry Lifetime Achievement Award from Beef and Lamb in 2015. His work continues to have a strong influence on today's national flock and will continue to do so for many years. As the Whakatauki says, Kui hingia, O te totara, o te Wāanui a tāne. A great totara has fallen. On behalf of Beef and Lamb Genetics, we'd like to thank all of you for your ongoing contribution, which continues to better our industry for all. To all of you for tuning in, thank you for joining us. We hope you've been able to take away some interesting perspectives and insights to implement within your business. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of your evening.